I'm Laura. I'm 17 years old and from Chicago. Today, I have a personal story to share with you. But before that, please like and subscribe to the channel for me. I was born into an American family in Chicago. My parents were both businessmen. My family moved to New York when my father's business grew. And like all kids, I loved living here. I felt like I'm the happiest kid in the world. Every night, my mother used to read a bedtime story before I went to bed. Mom, why does the mermaid have to trade so much but still not be happy? Why did she give so much to the prince but not expect anything in return? Because that's life, sweetie. Love is not something that you want to have and you will have. If everything goes well, it will not be called life. At least, the mermaid has been happy for a short time. Perhaps for her, is it complete? <sighs> I'm so sleepy. What a great story today, Mom. Sweetie, have a good night. Mama too. I thought the peaceful days would pass like that. A family of three was filled <laughs> with joy until one day, my life was turned upside down when I was 11 years old. My parents are divorced. My father, the one I admire the most, I don't seem doing anything wrong. Until the divorce, he always clung to my mother but only got the answer, no. Becca, could you please not divorce? You may not think about me, but think about Laura. She's too young to go through this. You're being ridiculous. Who has been thinking about this family or this years? Who do you think you are? Obvious years. Forget it. No is no. In the future, don't bother me and our little girl. Please, I'm begging you. It's enough. <clears throat> Sign the papers before I get angry. And as you can see, I saw my parents' noisy divorce. My mother took custody of me. I always blamed her for doing it. Huh. My father is a very good person. So why is she heartlessly <laughs> destroying this happy family? I was always angry at my mother for that. On the contrary, my mother always tried to please me and bought me a lot of beautiful things, but I threw them away, showing my attitude. When I was 15 years old, my mother went bankrupt, and my life has become difficult since then. My mother, because of money, she was willing to go out with other men. I hated her for it. This made the distance between me and my mother more and more distant. How are you doing with your exam, Laura? It's okay, as usual. Laura, I just made a cake and put it in your desk. Try it. No, if you like it, then eat it. At that time, my life at school was very bad. Almost time when I went to school, I was bullied and despised by my friends because of my family background. During those months of being treated badly, I knew Lisa, the beauty queen of the school. Unlike other students, she treated me very well, helping me in my studies, always supporting me when I needed it most, comforting me when I was sad because of some malicious words. Sometimes, I feel like I don't deserve to be with Lisa, but she always protected me from harmful rumors. Hey, over there, that girl looks poor and pathetic. Yeah, and look at those worn out shoes she's wearing. And she still wants to go to this school, just a country bumpkin trying to climb the social ladder. Come on, you guys. Why do you have to belittle others like that? You all come from privileged backgrounds, so why act so childish? Lucky for that girl, Lisa's so kind-hearted. I would never even stand near her, let alone be friends with it. Thank you, Lisa. It's nothing, Laura. We're friends. Well, the exercise you sent me last day. I've already solved it. Let's go see it. From the day I met her, my world became brighter. I was no longer as gloomy as before. As time passed, my mother's business went up and my family became better. Lisa and I have been friends for two years. We go shopping, watch movies, comfort each other when we are sad, and go everywhere together. I realized Lisa was not only beautiful, but she sang well. She was very talented, and I was nothing like her, but that didn't affect our friendship. I was always asked her about her love life, but without any information, she seemed to enjoy her single life until a new student moved into my school. He was Damien, has a good family background, handsome and well-educated. He just moved in but quickly become the popular boy in my school. And Lisa seems to care about him. When she talks with me, she always mentions this guy. Laura, Damien, he is really handsome. I mean, he's practically perfect. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. 
Surely not. Boys like him are picky. He's also very smart. Always at the top of every exam. How can I be worthy of him? Lisa, do you like him? I don't know, but I feel like I want to care about him a little bit more. Ah, Laura. I think I've met Damien before. I remember now. It was my dad's party. My dad <laughs> and his dad were business partners. I still remember how he treated everybody mm -hmm. delicately. I was kind to everyone in that day. And when he goes on stage for a speech, he's calm and mature manner. This image makes me unfordable. Lisa, maybe you like him. If you like him, go ahead, try your best. Laura, can you help me please? Lisa had a crush on Damien. I really don't know what to do then. Suddenly, a few days later, Lisa cried to me and told me that her parents were fighting, that her family was at odds and she was tired of it. Laura, I don't know why my parents are fighting all the time. Don't cry, Lisa. It's okay. It's going to be okay. After a while, Lisa avoided me constantly. She doesn't seem to want to play with me anymore. At the same time, the frequency of my bullying is increasing, making me extremely tired. I have heard others tell my secret stories. How would they know? I decided to investigate and was shocked to find out the truth. Lisa, my most trusted friend, has officially betrayed me. <laughs> she told people secrets about me. She spoke publicly about me to everyone, even joined in, supporting the others to bully me. Lisa, my best friend, has now become the boss of bullying me at school. The first time Lisa bullied me was when she'd drawn my desk, publicly scorned me on social media, and friended me and blocked me. I accidentally saw the hateful posts from Lisa's personal page and the rude comments. Laura, she's a hypocrite. That girl is like her mother. The poor girl likes to cling to men. It looks like a deer, but it is a fox. Haha. <laughs> Lisa, she really likes those comments? Is that Lisa? Yes, I'm here. You're right. Lisa doesn't want to be friends with her anymore. No, it was a mistake before. Now, I've changed. You're right. Lisa was no longer in my sight. After reading the article, I was really <gasps> sad, but what could I do? One day, I couldn't take it anymore. At lunchtime, while Lisa was sitting alone, I approached her and shouted angrily at her, asking why, why do you treat me like that, Lisa? You are different. Why are you so strange now? What about it? Tell me why. What's wrong with you, Lisa? If you want to know, ask your mother, who caused my parents to have a disagreement. It will be clear. Don't ask me. I don't want to stand here wasting my time with you. It's enough. We are no friend anymore. You and your mother are all alike. Lisa threw the pictures of my mother and me. I was dumbfounded when I saw those pictures. I ran back of the school, the quietest place, crying so much that I didn't notice Damien sitting by. He saw me crying so silently, handed me a tissue and comforted me, even though he didn't know what I was upset about. But to my surprise, Damien seemed to enjoy the quiet space, and I felt like I was destroying his space. That night, when I knew about Lisa's family story involving my mother, I went home and asked my mother what happened. Mom, what did you do to make Lisa's father, Mr. Puto, disagree with his family? Laura, I didn't do anything. Mr. Puto is just my business partner. You're so funny. Then, you tell me what it is. Where did you find these pictures? You and this man met privately at the cafe. Lisa showed me these pictures. How long do you want to hide me? How could you do such a thing? I never said anything about your love life before. Why do you know that Mr. Puto is Lisa's father? But you still have an affair with him? I'm so disappointed with you. No, sweetie. It doesn't like what you think. My mom tried to explain. I didn't listen, so I went to my room. Suddenly, one day, <laughs> one day, I happened to see Lisa walking with a stack of documents with Damien. They laughed and joked. Lisa was closer to his crush. Lisa has always been popular, but now she's even more well-known because of her close relationship with the school's hot guy. This made me worry that the number of times I would be bullied in the future might increase. During lunchtime, as I was searching for a suitable spot to eat, the group of bullies from before suddenly appeared and knocked over my lunchbox. But Damien came up and protected me, taught the bullies a lesson and even gave me his lunchbox. Damien and I have known each other ever since. After a while, 
he and I became closer. We have so many unexpected things in common. He and I <laughs> both love to read novels, listen to sad music, and enjoy Thai cuisine. Hey, Laura, what are you reading? Damien, do you know this novel? It's very good. I've read this novel. If you need it, I don't mind a spoiler plot for you. It's interesting. <laughs> I read it myself. Say no to spoilers. This novel is really interesting. I'm a big fan of the author. Coincidentally, I've also been a fan of this author for four years. Damien, you're so funny. Laura, I bought you a drink, a new one from the school cafeteria. Try it. That's delicious. Thank you. I have two tickets to the movie. Will you come with me this weekend? Mm, really? It's just you. Okay, let's go. Finally, <laughs> at the end of my weekend, we went to the movies. We both had a great time. Then I didn't know what my feelings are for Damien. I had a habit of writing in a diary every day. Going to the movies today was also in my diary. Damien appeared in my diary more and more. All was well until one day, I came home from school and saw my mother reading my diary. I am extremely indignant about her actions. My mother knew about Damien's existence and she was very interested in him. My mother always talked about him to me, praising him in every way. The days that followed were worse, and every time I saw Damien, my mother would interrupt me to talk to Damien, and my mother would pat his head. There was even something difficult in my mother's job. She asked him for his opinion for a reason. His father was an entrepreneur. The number of times my mother met him was greater than mine. Can it be? My mom had a feeling with my crush? As for Damien, he took a great interest in her. When we talked, he always asked about my mother. When we met, as long as my mother was there, he immediately ran to her. Many times, I had seen Damien's shy, lovely look when he looked at my mother. The eyes that he didn't have for anyone else. Damien also <laughs> praised my mother very much. My hunch was that Damien liked my mother too. I am deeply troubled in my heart. Laura, your mother's so beautiful. Your mother always looks like a student. Uh, so? Things were out of control. Damien, he was picking up my mother when she came home from work, <laughs> giving her a lot of expensive gifts. Every time he talked to her, he was happy and blushed. Thank Damien for taking me home. Well, have a good afternoon. I didn't really have anything to say to him. And one day, I saw him coming to my house for dinner. And it seemed like he and my mother were going to have a big party. There was a candlelit on the table and my mother Damien was sitting across, apparently waiting for me to come home and announce something important. I was angry when I saw the scene. What are you doing, mom? What are you doing in my house, Damien? Laura, come down, let me explain. No. Unless he gets out of here, you get out of my house, Damien. Laura, I'm sorry. I immediately shoved all the food in the ground and drove Damien out of my house. I had a big fight with my mother. In my heart, I felt that my mother seemed to want to have a relationship with Damien and wanted to add a stepfather for me. And that person is my crush. This is unacceptable. I don't want to listen to you anymore. That's enough. I don't need another stepdad or anyone else. Laura, it's not what you think. I just had to work with you at Damien. The dinner he prepared was for you. It's ridiculous. Don't make excuses. I'm leaving the house. I don't want to see you anytime soon. I got up and ran out of the house and found a hotel to rest in. Tomorrow is my closing ceremony at school. And today, my mother and I have a quarrel, which is not good. The next night, my school held the closing ceremony. I was excitedly waiting for my name because last semester, I was quite excellent. Suddenly, when my name was read, Lisa jerked the microphone. Sorry guys, I'm Lisa. And today, I'll let everyone know the true nature of Laura, my old best friend. These are pictures of her mother having an affair with my father. She is also a man-eater. Laura, she's disgusting. Poor Lisa. She's really good to her that she bit back. What's going on? Everyone, please focus on listening to me. Don't listen from one side. I'm Damien, the son of LDA Group President. I have a confession for my girlfriend, Laura, because she's being dishonored. She's not with anyone. I'm her boyfriend. And that day, her mother met Lisa's father at the coffee shop to discuss her own business. <laughs> my father was also there. 
but he was a little late, I can testify. Lisa was accused of being a liar, witnessing the crush exposing herself. Lisa did not dare to look up and run outside and cry. Damien pulled my hand out of the hall. My mother stood there waiting for me. Damien explained everything to me. Damien, what is this? Laura, I've actually liked you for a long time, but you don't seem to care about me. So I tried to please your mother, hoping you could care about me a little. Did you? He's right, Laura. Sorry, I misunderstand you, Damien. Then, my mom and I went home together. The distance between me and her is decreasing. When I got home, my mother let me watch a video of my father having an affair. The knot between me and my mother wasn't done. She's been hiding it from me all along. I hugged my mother. How could dad be that kind of person? Sorry, Laura. It happened too many times. Your father and I are no longer in love. It's not your fault. Why does mom always hide the fact that dad is like that for me? I'm sorry. I really misunderstood you. You always give me a good look at dad and I think you're a bad person. You always work hard so that I can have money for school and I... Laura, it's good that you're not mad at me anymore. Thank you. The next morning, I went to school. And after last night, I was officially dating Damien. As for Lisa, she transferred schools. Before moving away, she left a letter for me on the desk. She apologized to me for being emotionally blurred. She didn't expect me to forgive her. I felt that Lisa was more pitiful than reprehensible. Deep in my heart, I truly forgave her.